middle of January saw some of the first concrete poured on the north side of the dock. This is where the solid dock meets what could be described as the floating extension. Pay close attention to that large field of reinforcing rod, the purpose for which will become very clear later. Clearly work on placing the gratings for the ramp is intended, and the two major buildings continue to receive attention. And there's regularly activity on the finger dock. Just days later work is observed on the ramp in Kingston. Hooks that will engage bars on the bow of the Wolf Islander 4 are being attached. Work on outfitting the utility building is regularly observed. Over on the dock extension, the amount of reinforcing rod is steadily growing. And a vertical side component is becoming ever more evident as iron workers continue to weave their magic. On the 22nd of January, as an excavator leaves the excavation behind the terminal building and makes its way back onto the dock, the Wolf Islander 4 arrives in Kingston. Whilst here, she will prove that the hooks on the ramp are fit for the task of holding her to the dock. Only a day or two later, two cranes are to be found on the dock. Their purpose is initially unclear. And then a large grey object is driven onto the dock. In comparatively short order, what proves to be a major air handling unit is lifted and placed on the dockside. And whilst we're here, we can have a quick look at the complex weave of rebar on the dock extension. Within days, the purpose of the second crane we saw becomes clear. Deploying a massive vibrating hammer, it is engaged in removing the sheet pile before the ramp. Meanwhile, over on the extension, there are increasing signs that preparations are being made to pour concrete. Small tasks like installing lighting around the inside of the utility compound do not go unnoticed. Slightly removed from the noisy end of the site, a major task of installing conduit and ducting for the electrical supply has been achieved. Soon, concrete will seal it in place. A week that will see much concrete poured begins on Wednesday in the utility building, where the pumper's reach is significantly tested. On what started as a wet and windy Thursday, Two pumpers, supported by a large number of ready-mix trucks, finally poured the extension. It was quite an operation. A concrete pour of this magnitude requires a lot of people to be working in close coordination to a common plan. It all appeared to go very well. Friday saw everything curing nicely, with a little bit of heat. A stone's throw away on the finger dock, an excavator was moving gravel. And some sort of framing work was taking place within the steel structure of what will become the passenger terminal. 
But the big event, in what could reasonably be called Concrete Week, was the concrete consolidation of the ductwork. The decision was made, as you can see, to convey the concrete to the site in what's known as a concrete bucket, with the assistance of an excavator. A handle on the side of the bucket allows controlled release of concrete. But in a small space such as this, there's still a fair amount of manual working. We've been blessed by and large in recent weeks with fine weather and everything is going very well. But if you want to see what happens in future, then please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching.